Hi everyone, today we're going to make Korean chicken, and excuse my raspy voice, I'm getting through a cold. My daughter's friend left for school in South Korea, and I came upon this recipe, I thought it would be pretty cool to make. It also comes with a side dish of pickled radishes, so as long as you can handle my raspy voice, let's get started. So now the first thing we're going to do is get our chicken ready to go. Using chicken leg quarters here. If you got a whole chicken and you want to cut that up, go for it. I've never actually like cut a whole chicken up before. I'd like to learn how to do it. So I think I can manage with these chicken legs. And at least the leg part I know how to do. There's kind of the, that worked out pretty easy. Now for the other part, it's a little too big for one piece. So I'm going to try and find some bone to cut out and hopefully I'll end up with three pieces. And a little bit of effort, not too, too bad. I think we've got us three pieces of chicken. So this will work out good. There's only the two of us eating. And that's why I pulled out two chicken legs. We'll take off some of the extra skin that, you know, don't really need to have. I don't think it's going to matter for the chicken much one way or another. So we'll trim it a little bit. Not all of it. There we go. Let's get our other leg out. And do the same. Now of course this one seemed to be a little more difficult. So I ended up with an extra little piece by the time I was done. Like I said, I'm not that big of a pro yet. A little bit of work. Now this is the rub that's going to go on the chicken. So into a bowl is two tablespoons of salt, one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of garlic powder, and that's a quarter teaspoon of oregano. We'll mix all that together. Bring our chicken back in and we're going to take half of that because it works out to about a four tablespoon rub. We're going to use half and we're going to cover as best we can the front and back sides of the chicken. All right, that looks good. Let's set that aside. And next step is our marinade. We're going to soak these pieces of chicken in this overnight. So we've got one cup of milk, three eggs, And that is a tablespoon of gochujang. I hope I said that right. It's like a spicy kind of tomato paste. And it's not that spicy. I like medium wings. That's about what that is, medium. It's not super spicy at all. So we're going to mix all that together. And in goes our chicken one piece at a time. And we want to make sure that the chicken's completely covered in that mixture. I think a cake pan might have worked a little better for soaking the chicken, but this will work okay. Now, of course, the last 
thing to do is cover it up with plastic, which I can never figure out. I don't care how old I get and how many years I've had to play with plastic, it never works out right the first time. If I do, then there's something wrong. So we get that covered with plastic into the fridge overnight and onto our radishes. There's about how many radishes I've got. Now you can use the Korean radish, which is huge, but in a pinch you can just use regular red radishes. You just got to peel them. And then the idea is you're going to cut them into small cubes, like a third of an inch square, or they're not very big. Kind of about like that. And don't worry, I'm not going to make you sit here and watch all of them. Now, we need a container to put it in. I've got a glass jar that I've washed and cleaned. It's nice, you don't even need a funnel or anything. You just kind of scoop everything up, throw them in a jar. And I figure this way, especially with the lid and that, I'm going to be able to shake it around and kind of make sure everything's coated once we get going with that. Next up to go along with it is a carrot. So I got the end of a carrot and the recipe called for 12 little pieces. Kind of seemed like a lot of effort for 12 little pieces so I just made that much which really isn't that much and that's going in with our radishes. Now this is something way out of my wheelhouse. I never would have made anything like this had I not seen it in this recipe. So this is like a pure experiment for me. And we're going to give her a shake and kind of mix the two things together. That looks about right. Now let's make our pickling sauce. A little bowl. And that's a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt or salt. A tablespoon of sugar. Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Mix well together. Pour it in the jar and I'm just trying to mix it all around so everything gets coated. Into the fridge. In the morning I'm going to shake it up a little bit. By dinner time should be ready to go. Here we are the next day. Let's get our chicken ready to go. I'm hungry. So onto the stove goes our Dutch oven. We're going to cook the chicken in this and add vegetable oil, canola oil, peanut oil, whatever you got. You're gonna go about two thirds of the way up the pot. You gotta leave room, cause it will bubble. Here's our chicken. It's been marinating since yesterday. Now, we need a coating for it. So into this bowl goes one cup of cornstarch. They didn't make a mess and that's one cup of flour and the other two tablespoons of our rub mix and just because I threw in some pepper it wasn't actually in the recipe but I just thought it needed a little more than that. And we're going to carefully combine it all. Now each of our pieces of chicken we've taken out of the marinade and kind of let it drip off. You don't want it soaking wet. And now we just cover it up in the flour mixture. I'm going to put them all on a baking sheet because I'm likely going to have to do two lifts of chicken for this. Now as you see here, you want to make sure that the coating gets in all the little crevices and stuff. 
you shake it out the excess. And when we're done, it should look something like this. And there's our chicken. So now over to our pan, we're going to make two lifts, three pieces each, well, three and four, about five to seven minutes each side, flip it over another five to seven minutes, get them nice and cooked. And when you're done, here you go. Here's our finished product. Nice brown pieces of chicken, along with a side of pickled radishes. And they're not bad. It's a different taste for sure. Definitely something to try and make one day for dinner. Well, that was yummy. And I hope you'll try this recipe. If you do, leave me a comment below. Give me a thumbs up. I'd sure appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.